Hey guys, Aiden Ready or Gear Up here. What's up? Back here with another YouTube video. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reviewing my latest sneaker pickup, which is the Common Projects Achilles Low in a pale gray colorway. Now, there's tons of YouTube reviews on a bunch of different Common Projects, primarily the uh, all white Achilles Low, of course, but I actually haven't been able to find any YouTube reviews on the pale gray uh, Achilles Low. Alright, I'm just going to roll some footage right now of the box because I wasn't able to bring it uh, with me on vacation, so you guys can check that out. Um, it has the, it's just an all white box, as you know, Common Projects in black, made in Italy. Um, all white, solid construction in there. It comes with, the, with an extra pair of laces. And what else does it come with? It comes with a, a few cards from the store that I bought it from. And yeah, the paper, and that's pretty much it. So very simple box, um, nice quality on the box. And then next up, it also came with this dust bag. Um, all white, with the drawstrings right here. And it says Common Projects, as you can see right there in black. Now, to be honest, this isn't like the greatest quality dust bag there is out there. It's already started fraying a little bit. I use it as kind of like a carry-on thing on my flight. But um, yeah, it's just like a polyester, not that great quality dust bag. Now, what is great quality though are the sneakers themselves. All right, so you guys are probably already familiar with the Achilles Low silhouette, but um, if you aren't, it, it's kind of like a Stan Smith Converse it's very just simple classic silhouette. Um, Common Projects is like a brand that makes all their shoes in Italy. They make a ton of different sneakers. Started in I think early 2000s sometime between two um, two Italian shoe designers. I, I, anyway, all I care about and all I know is that these things are dope and they're super nice quality. So like if you kind of have like a style where you don't like to wear things that are too crazy and you like to be able to when you purchase something, you want to be able to make sure you can wear it with a lot of things. Um, and you like monochromatic sneakers, this is definitely like a worthy investment in my opinion. Now to be honest, I would have preferred to get the white pair. Um, this was my second favorite pair just because it's so simple and monochromatic. But I found these for a much better deal than I could find the white pair for, for this what I opted for. But I would have preferred to get the white pair, but I'm more than pleased with these. So yeah, it's an all very pale neutral gray upper as you guys can see. Um, it's all monochromatic, laces are the same color, sole is, sole is the same color, very nice as you can see. I've worn these a few times, hashtag we wear our shoes. Um, yeah, Margam sole, which is um, the sole that pretty much a bunch of designer sneakers use, like uh, Raph Simmons, the Straps ones, uh, just to name another one, but yeah, it's a very commonly used type of sole. Stitched, it's, it's stitched on, not glued. Um, very nice Napa leather upper. And yeah, it's just one like with a back uh, heel tab panel that's kind of similar to like the Stan Smith one, except it's the same color. Uh, as you can see with this silhouette, you've got a very slim toe box. And that's something that's very like appealing to a lot of people as you can see like it's very slim right there. And then also, yeah, you've got the gold foiling right there, the signature Common Projects, Common Projects gold foiling. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that this is what the foiling means. Um, the first four digits are the style slash color. The second two are the size, and then the last four are the season. It's something like that. All I know for sure is that um, the middle two are the size, and in my case, that's a 43, but yeah. The, color, the, 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 the symbols there do have uh, some meaning of some sort. I'm pretty sure that's it, but I would recommend just Googling it on your own. Um, and uh, one of my favorite features about the shoe is that the entire inside, so your foot is wrapped entirely in leather. Um, there's no other like uh, textile lining on the inside or anything like that. It's all leather, including the insole. So your foot is going to be surrounded in this really buttery, comfortable leather that's going to break in super well over time. Got the common projects made in Italy in gold foiling on the insole, uh, and then they have it laced in like this weird bar lacing way. Uh, you guys can check that out. Like one of the laces goes all the way up from uh, the bottom right to the top left, and then the other one is laced through properly. Um, that's how they come laced, and yeah, just a very clean sneaker that you can pretty much wear with anything, in my opinion. You guys can check this one out too. Same deal going on. All right, 
And so a lot of people have a question with common projects and that's siding. So tons of different sources say tons of different things. Um, so in my experience, I'm usually an 11, yeah, pretty, I'm pretty much an 11. Sometimes I go an 11 and a half, but I definitely say I'm a true 11. I've heard stay true to size, go down half a size, go down one whole size, go down two whole sizes. Um, in my experience, I think go down one whole size is the best. Uh, but let's say for example, like you're 11 and a half and sometimes a 12, go to, a, go to an 11. Um, I went to 43, which is the equivalent of a 10 and they fit very snug. Um, not to the point where they're uncomfortable, but let's get to some uh, close-up shots on these and then I'll see you later. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out uh, my latest video on these. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what is my favorite sneaker in my collection right now. Well, these and my low Chelsea boots are like, I love those two. Um, so yeah, if, if, if you have the money and common projects are something you've had your eye on for a while, like I've had my eye on common projects for over a year now and I've always thought they were really great. Um, then I definitely say it's a worthy investment. Uh, make sure you take care of these, put them in shoe trees or stuff them with uh, cloths or whatever just to keep the shape done well. Um, these are gonna crease guys. Uh, natural leather, like nice leather does crease and that's just a reality, but if you keep the shoe trees in there um, and you try to keep them nice, then they'll crease less. For me and these do retain their resale value. Um, check out websites like Rail, eBay, if you're looking to buy a used pair. As long as you keep these in decent condition, they are gonna retain a good portion of their um, value. And try to find a good sale on them. I'd say try to go for at least 25% off, and that that's pretty that's a pretty good deal right there. Thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, in the next few days, I'm gonna have a lookbook with these, so that's just gonna be me showing off a bunch of different outfits that I wear with these. Um, it just pretty much could be any style. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Catch you later in Hero.